excuse me. Hi, excuse me. Oh, she's fine. She's just doing, um, like, what is it, review or something? <laughs> That'll be fine if you don't listen for a second. Um, can you give me a name of a person? Any person. No, no, a real name, like someone in this classroom, or a celebrity, or... Pedro Pascal? Oh, that's a really good one. Yeah. Cool, thank you. Excuse me. You're really good at this. Um, can you give me a car? Just like the name of a car or a vehicle that where you can get from one place to another. Anything. Tesla? Like the ones that blow up. The self-driving ones? Yes! <laughs> that's good, that's good. The ones. and you're creative and awesome, so can you give me the name of an occupation that someone might have? Any occupation. No, this doesn't have anything to do with calculus. But it could. Lawyer. Hmm. Okay. While I have you, all right, I'm gonna draw a spiral and you tell me when to stop. Okay, ready? Ready? Go. You have to tell me when to stop, okay? You have to tell me. Oh, okay, good. Looks like you're gonna be a lawyer. 
Maybe that's the one that you told me. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's an interesting choice. You have quite the life ahead of you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Okay, so it looks like you're gonna get a spaceship and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, conservative. All right, so are you ready for your future? Okay, so you are gonna live in a shack. You're gonna have one kid. Your job is going to be a lawyer. I don't know what kind of lawyer you are to be living in a shack, but maybe it's going to be bird law. You know, I'm really well versed on bird law, if you'd like to know about it. Later. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Um, oh, and your car is going to be a spaceship. You must know someone really special to have a spaceship. Mm -hmm. And the best one of all, you are going to be married to... BTS. Just, I think, as a collective, because I personally don't know any of their actual names. I don't actually listen to BTS. I just know that they're like a big deal and that most people are excited about them. So, yeah, I guess just pick one or pick all of them because that's who you're going to be married to. Yay. That was fun. Thanks. Oh, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. You midterm. <laughs> okay. really hard to eat a chip quietly. Oh, I'm trying not to eat with my mouth open. I was saying that they're pop chips. They had like um, an advertisement during the Super Bowl. Do you want some? transferring my energy of goodness to you to enjoy the, the chips <laughs> see it's not that bad okay mm. while I have you I really like your hair can I put 
some clips in it, please. Yeah, it's really pretty. Here. I have these little clips. Chip clips, but I like to put them in my hair, and eh, they make your hair really cute. Okay, well I don't have a mirror, so it's kind of hard. But you don't need a mirror because I'm gonna put them on you. Let's do one on each side. Which ones do you want? This one. And out of these two. Out of these two. It's like they're talking to each other. Good. And on this side. There. That looks really good. Awesome. Are you feeling okay? Your eyes are a little Zoom, but if you're not feeling okay, I, you can always talk to me. I don't mind. I'm a really good listener. You don't feel like talking? Hmm. Well, I can help you feel better. Maybe um, I have this one thing that I've been really liking. Maybe. the wrong bag of things. things. So they're actually makeup, but this one is like an orange color and it, well, it depends on your, your skin tone, but it actually makes you look more like sunned, like you have, you got more sun. Um, also it's orange and I like orange. Here, I'll show you. It has like one of these little things. You just go like that and then like this. And obviously it's gonna look a little different on my hand than on your cheek, but yeah, it's really cool. So I'm just gonna put it on your cheeks and it'll make you look like you feel better. I don't know. Okay, hold still. Good. Okay. Good. 
And this one, I actually find it to be way too shiny, but it's a shiny liquid that you can put on your cheeks. Here, I'll show you. See, look how bright that is. It's kind of like, yikes. <laughs> These colors in general are very unnatural, but that's what I like about them. Oh, well, it's actually not too bad. It made me, my hand really shiny. So I'm going to do that to your cheeks and give you a little bit of like, a little bit of glow, you know? says Chevrolet Lesser Purple Emperor. Lesser Purple Emperor. Let's see what that means. Here it is. Okay. So, uh oh, okay. Across 
across the globe. It's a staple. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're talking about the, the herb, the flower. Sorry, Cheryl. Sincerity is a mix of seriousness and honesty. Cultivating this quality will help you grow and develop into what you are meant to be. To truly be sincere, be in touch with your heart and your inner self. Be genuine with your thoughts and words as you move through your journey of self-discovery. Honesty and compassion go hand in hand, so take care not to beat yourself up in the name of sincerity, but to be candid with yourself and others and all things. Well, okay, are you not being truthful to yourself? Is there something that um, you're lying to yourself about, if you know what I mean? I know that sometimes we see red flags or, or we see things that um, we know deep inside is wrong, but we lie to ourselves and tell, us that, tell ourselves that it's okay. Have you been putting up with something or someone recently? Mm-hmm. Well, you need to be honest with yourself, okay? Compassion goes both ways. It goes on the inside, too. You gotta be compassionate with yourself. Mm-hmm. Or maybe there's an expectation that you're holding for yourself that's way too high that you'll never be able to meet. Hey, listen. I know they say sky's the limit, but if I want to be a hamster farmer, there are a lot of things I'm going to have to change about myself, and I don't even know if I can get there. You know? Sorry. Well, in that moment, I was sincere with myself. Hmm. Okay. Next, let's look at your present. Oh, oh, so that was all in the past tense. So, obviously, in the past, you haven't been sincere. Okay? With yourself. On Now, protection. Interesting. So now, your present. Protection. And we could see also this really pretty looking dragon. Eucalyptus and monarch. Monarch, 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 monarch. Let's see what this could mean for you. you to know that you are protected. Okay. Your ideas and beliefs are sheltered and safe. You can move forward knowing that if you falter or fall, there is a soft place to land, and if needed, a comfortable place to heal until you are ready to take flight once more. This card is also reminding you to be a safe place for others and harbor for them to come to land. Okay. So, this is good. This means that right now at this moment, whatever it is that you need to deal with, that you need to be truthful with yourself about, you're protected. There's going to be people there that can help you through it. Like me, for example. I'll help you through it. <laughs> Just something to think about. I need to take a sip of something. My throat is dry. to know that uh, if you have to be truthful with them or tell them no more or hey I'm just not okay with this anymore that you do have other people that you can lean on um, so you can make these decisions for yourself it's totally okay you're safe you are safe you're safe you're safe you are And your future. Let's see how this will turn out. Magnificence. Mm. Bird of Paradise, common mother of pearl. It's 
some really pretty jack. Magnificence. I have a feeling this is a really good card. I have a feeling this is a really good card. I have a feeling this is a really good card. I made that for you. The little jingle. All for you. What if I only spoke in song? What if I only spoke in song for you? Would you like that if I only spoke in song? Most people would not. Okay. Magnificence. Magnificence is defined as impressively beautiful. You are <laughs> impressively beautiful. I just hope you know that. Uh, elaborate, extravagant, and striking. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's all you. This card challenges you to determine what it means to live a majestic life and to actively go out and live it. How can you live fully and marvel marvelously? Do the small things and the larger and the large that will bring you to magnificence. Without any care for what others think, incorporate more of what you feel to be glorious in your daily life so that your life is not just great but magnificent. Interesting. Are you changing yourself for others? Is that what you're not being sincere about? Who you are on the inside? Because that's kind of what I'm getting here. I'm getting the sense that you are a caterpillar in its cocoon, and it's ready for you to, you know, you're ready to come out. And there are people that are going to hold you up and help you to fly, okay, into your magnificence, because that's what you're meant to be, is a magnificent, beautiful butterfly, which is your true self. Yeah, there's something that's inside of you that's just, like, itching to come out. I mean, you do look a little... I mean, you could use some... The clips are great. Maybe it's not a self-image thing, but maybe there's an interest that you have that you've been putting off or putting away or not doing, or... I don't know. I think only you know, though. But, no matter what, remember, you are safe, and you are free to be yourself, and in the future, you will obtain that magnificence that you are always supposed to be. I mean, you, you are magnificent right now, but there's like this grand scale that you are. You know what? Let me write this down for you. So that you don't forget. I put my pen out here. A little sticky note for you, okay? So. Sincere. Oh, I spelled that very wrong. Sorry. Um, protection. And magnificence. I probably spelled that wrong too. That's okay. I spelled it in the way that I wanted to spell it. Alright. Okay. I'm just gonna. Oh, it, it fell. Sorry. I was gonna put it on your face. <laughs> it didn't stick. And I like the color. 
and it's a really bright, happy color. So, let's... Yeah, that feels good. I like that. Sorry. <laughs> Chip burps. Let's put this on your face. Okay, hold still. in my purse and then light this on fire later. Yeah, I'm not allowed to do it in the building. I used to, but then I kept getting in trouble. So I'm gonna do it outside. Yeah. Um, hmm. How would I just like eat it? Because like that way it's gone forever, right? <laughs> like the chips. Here, I'll take a big old dip into that sadness energy that's on your face. Social media. I know that taste. Very metallic. Just gonna need to take more out of that. Mm, there's something else there. Here. Mm, Self image. didn't go the way you wanted it to. I get that. Mm -hmm. When at the end it's like, no, why did they do that? Why did they make that decision? Like a 
sleep. You haven't been getting a good night's sleep. Too many thoughts. They won't shut off. So, I'll just, um, there. Good. <sighs> you know what I do? When I'm about to fall asleep, and I can't, because the thoughts won't stop, I close my eyes really hard and I go, stop, stop. something near me, like right now, I can look down and I go, okay, pen, sharpie, ultra fine point, blue, has gray on it, permanent marker, it's long, and basically I just, and it feels, um, soft, but also slick because it's plastic, and it says also assembled in the USA, oh, really, I didn't know that actually, you just feel like most things are assembled in like China or something. Anyway, the point is grounding. When your head just won't shut up, try grounding yourself. Usually it, when it's in the dark, you can't see things. I like a nightlight, so I do kind of see things, but sometimes I don't. But anyway, the point um, is when it's dark, you can do more like sensation, like, oh, uh, the pillow is really soft, or it's kind of warm and I need to flip the pillow. Or what do I smell? I smell lavender because I put on, like rose and lavender because I put on a um, lotion before bed and that's what it smells like. Stuff like that. But usually like yelling stop in my head, like in envisioning the word stop, 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 that usually does it for me. Does that help? Was that oversharing? Perhaps. Anyway, class is almost over, but, um, we can hang out later. Totally. I, I have this thing that I've been putting together. It's like an art project. Yeah. It may or may not be illegal. It doesn't matter. I'll be okay. It's like a Banksy thing me. I haven't come up with my, like, really cool pseudonym name yet, though. Oh, it's okay. Just calm down. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Okay. Um, well, I'm gonna go, because we have to go to the next class, but if I don't see you, I hope you have a good